while out hiking, I ran into this mushroom. I looked it up online. Of course, can't really trust everything you read online. But it's called a parasol mushroom. You can see the little rim right there. That's a name for that. I, I lost this. These mushrooms have an anatomy that it escapes you right now. But you look for the top, and then you look at the underside for the gills, the bottom. And then you look for one of these things right here. And then you look for the bottom, and you kind of pull it out to get really identified. But I'm not going to pull it out. I'm going to let the mushroom be the mushroom. I believe it might be edible, but again, don't take my word for it, because a lot of edible, edible mushrooms look like very toxic mushrooms. And with the, all the... These little things on top, again, has a name, I don't remember what it is. It probably is easy to identify for a really professional mycologist. But for me, it's just a pretty little mushroom I'm taking a picture of. And again, I wouldn't eat anything I see out unless I was 100% sure. And even a couple of them I did harvest before they went bad. And I was told it's better to harvest them when they're new and they're not any good when they get, when they get older. So... Um, but again, foraging is an interesting hobby, not something I'm very good at, but I can smell this mushroom. It does, it does have a, a mushroom-like smell, like the store-bought mushroom smell. Mushrooms don't have a smell, some, some people say, but I think they do. But again, parasol mushroom, I'll put my information that I collect in the description, and we'll go from there. Um, but again, I believe it's a parasol mushroom. I'll put the scientific name right in the description. I'll actually put it in the title. Um, but again, like this video, hate this video, and always, what's next?